This month marks the one-year anniversary of the disappearance of nine-year-old Serenity Denard. She reportedly walked away from the Children's Home Society in the Black Hills one year ago and has not been found. However, searches continue and leads come in every week. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sydney Thorson talks with people from Serenity's community and why they hold on to hope. After countless hours, four seasons, a whole year searching for Serenity, her family still holds on to hope. I do miss her. I just wish she would come back because it's been a year. I think it's one of those things that definitely gets harder with time. Um, you know, a lot of times stuff will happen and people say, oh, with time, it'll, it'll get better, you know. And with this, just given that there's no evidence, um, nothing really to go off of, it, it, it's hard. Serenity Denard walked away from the Children's Home Society in the Black Hills last February. The first couple days was just a blank. You know, you're just going on autopilot. Just, you're just, your whole world is gray. Um, you know, and we're just standing by the phone, waiting for any phone call. And when the phone rings, you know, you jump up and run to it. Since Serenity walked away from the Children's Home Society in the Black Hills, there have been 224 leads in 36 states and four countries. 465 interviews have been conducted, and there have been six search warrants. Yeah, well, we'll always follow up any leads that come in until we find Serenity, so we'll never stop doing that. In terms of the searching side, you know, there'll come a point where we'll probably cease searching. We're not there yet. Gail Schmidt is the fire chief for the Rockerville Fire Department. She has searched a total of 68 days and around 400 miles for Serenity. I'm, I'm here for the long term, to be honest with you. Um, this is something that, that I've gotten involved in from day one. I plan to continue to do that as long as the good, your, good Lord blesses me um, physically and mentally to be able to do it. Chief Schmidt says the searches can be very draining physically and mentally. The weather and rough terrain can make it difficult on the human body. It's hard to know what Serenity was thinking at the time and how far did she get. Those are the million dollar questions. From volunteers in the community to dog teams from other states, hundreds of people have joined the search. I tell you to be able to be out here working with the men and women that I've been working with, the, the team effort that has been involved out here is like no other that I've been involved in from a search perspective. And, you know, they, they just continue to come back and, and, you know, we're going to do our best to find Serenity. Serenity's family says they do their best to stay positive and remain hopeful. We have to get up every morning and get the kids ready for school. Um, you know, you we're just going on auto autopilot, still just waiting to hear of any news. We will make efforts regardless, um, sharing her story, her face, posters, posts on social media. Um, but as far as what I want others to keep doing, everything, um, following leads, sharing her story, searching, whatever physically is possible for each individual person is what I want, by all means. Cassandra Denard says her daughter is very intelligent and she likes to be her own person. Very bubbly, um, blonde hair, blue eyes, beautiful. She comes in the room and Serenity's here. I mean, you just, you know she's there. She makes her presence known. She has the best laugh. You can't forget her laugh. My thoughts and, and prayers go out to the family. I mean, that's got to be extremely difficult on their, their side, not knowing where their daughter is. And, and that's why we continue to search, not only for them, but also to, to provide an answer. You know, where is Serenity Denard? That's the question. One year later, the search for Serenity continues. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And we are all hoping they find an answer soon. If you have any information on Serenity's whereabouts, you should contact the Pennington County Sheriff's Office.